This week, we're talking about the happiest place on earth. That's right. We're talking about Disneyland Park. This is episode number 40. I'm Soraya. I'm Aurora. And together, we're just Just your your average Disney travelers. Disneyland Park. It is the original Disney Park. Um, and it's my favorite. Is this your favorite park of so. all of the U.S. parks? I mean, we've only been to U.S. parks. Yeah. But of all of the Disneyland um, and Disney World parks, I think Disneyland is yeah, my favorite. Overall, probably. And I love them all for different reasons. Um, what's your, do you have a reason why this one would probably be your favorite? It has a lot of cool rides. A lot of, like, most like it like it has to most of my rides that I would consider a favorite yeah because like it only had okay like because like um a new favorite of mine in credit coaster that's in California Adventure and then I have another favorite Fly Passage which is at Disney uh, sure. Disney World yeah. but like and Disneyland only has like one I'd consider like a favorite favorite Indiana Jones <laughs> or Rise yeah, it's or thunder. Two. Well, yeah, it's like <laughs> I, th- I think rise is like or space. <laughs> I would consider rise as a favorite favorite, and then those okay, yeah, actually Indiana is yeah. another. Yeah, okay, so you it, have it was, it's, a lot of really yeah, good favorites actually, in there. There's yeah, there's just actually just multiple favorites. You were just saying that I was like, actually, no, wait, there's a bit more than just one. Um, <laughs> yeah, those are a bit more than just eight. So, the, so it has yeah. a lot of rides that you yeah. really enjoy. Okay, so for me, I don't know if it's because of that it has so much in the park, um, or if it's just we, we always talk about the nostalgia, nostalgia. Um, but also it's the park that Walt built, you know, and lived and walked in. And um, I don't know, there's just something about that park that I feel is super magical. It has a different feeling than the other yeah. parks. I feel like it's a very distinct, well, and it's hard to describe. For California Adventure. Well, for sure, yeah. even between those two, but even like compared to, it's not the same as the feeling in Magic Kingdom even. Yeah, and so I don't know, for me, it's like, it's the same feeling, but just slightly different. Yeah, there's just something really about know. it that's different and yeah. special. And so it is my favorite. If I have to pick one park to go to on any given day, I would, if I can only do one park, it would be that park. Yeah. Um, and that's just, it's just awesome. Um, it's, it's my favorite. It's a happy place for, for me. So, all right. So this is the original park. Walt Disney built it. Um, opened on July 17th, 1955. And when it opened there were only 18 attractions and now and it's kind of like what do how do you define attraction but right now um disney claims to have over 50 attractions in disneyland and so more than double (laughs) yeah way more than double so like attractions aren't only rides track attractions are things that you see and do and participate in so like the walkthrough of the castle is an attraction um, you know, Tiki Room is an attraction. So these, you know, there's a lot of different things that are classified. Is that does not include shows, but it includes, um, you know, it's just, it's the attractions. So um, today, okay, so today's there's over 50 attractions. I said that. Um, the other thing that's really special about this park, and it kind of clues into what we were just saying, is the Disneyland Park has the most rides of all Disney parks in the world of any single singular park it has the most rides and the most attractions no matter which way you count it whether you're counting rides you get on and go or places that you can go and experience it has the most in its park than any other and it is also one of the smallest parks in the world so of disney and so it's got it just packs a big punch you can see and do so much and um man it's there's a there's a plus and a negative to this there it, because of the small size the parkway the walkways are a little bit narrower so it'll feel more crowded than like say at Disney magic World. kingdom or yeah or even at california adventure if you had the same number of people it would feel more crowded in disneyland because it just has narrower walkways and less space that way but it has so many things to do. And so it eats a lot of people too. It has a lot of people in lines and on rides and doing different things. And so that's great. But um, you can get and see and do so much just in that one little park. 
and it's just great. So um, let's see, it took one year and $17 million for yeah. Walt to build Disneyland. And to be honest, a year, that's pretty impressive to do it all in one year. Oh yeah. And today that $17 million would equate roughly to about $170 million. But to put in perspective, Galaxy's Edge that they just built in Disneyland was a billion dollars. So I, it, that's kind of impressive that they did the whole park for that, um, for that amount. All right, so Aurora, why don't you take us to the, through the park? There are nine lands or distinct areas of Disneyland Park. Yes. So tell us about those. So there is Fantasyland, Tomorrowland, Adventureland, um, Creative Country, Galaxy's Edge, New Orleans Square. I'm losing track of which ones Toontown, you said. Town um, and Main Street. Yeah. And did you say Frontierland? For, and Frontierland. Yeah. I couldn't, I wasn't I just counting. Jumped around. <laughs> I know. I, I always, I always go in a circle. Like I'll go down Main Street and then take one way or the other. And then I was just like, okay, wait, I'm missing. I kind of forgot about Toontown. Yeah. In Frontierland. <laughs> And yeah, nitrate. so nine distinct areas. Um, <laughs> it didn't used to be nine, but we've just added a ninth here um, in Galaxy's Edge a couple years ago. And then <clears throat> a handful of years before that, it was Toontown. Well, Toontown they've had for a long time. Really? Yeah, they, that Toontown's been there. It's um, but like mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I don't know for some reason I just feel like it was. I I just remember going there my first time. Which, oh, it's been there. I, I yeah, know. Sorry. I just don't remember that. Okay. Yeah. Well, never mind. Ignore that. <laughs> Yeah. I obviously know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's built, a, made a, a kind of like they call it a hub system where you go walk down Main Street, you walk towards the castle. It's Cinderella Castle, which, you know, everyone knows Cinderella is Aurora. So it's Aurora's Castle. Cinderella? Not Cinderella. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. Oh my goodness. This is what no, happens. Just like, this is what, what park are you talking about now? No. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Sleeping Beauty Castle, which is Aurora's castle. I, okay. You can hear it in my throat, right? You're, you're like judging me. I have, I, and, and this is not an illness. This is not me feeling that is sick. If I felt sick, then I'd have a really good excuse. This is just because last night I was screaming at a game and uh, a football game. And I was not there. No, you weren't. But anyways, so I'm just going to call the late night and all that and anyway, use that as an excuse. <laughs> um, but wasn't Sleeping the, Beauty yeah, Castle. But so, go ahead. Wasn't the hub like inspired by uh, Paris? Oh, I, I don't know. Is it? I'm pretty sure it was. It might have been. I think like in Imaginary Story, they were saying how Paris also has a hub that kind of spreads out. And Walt did a lot of traveling. And yeah. so, yeah. So, uh, or the, maybe they're using an example. I don't, I don't know. know. The hub is right there in front of Sleeping Beauty Castle. Cinderella Castle is at Disney World. Sleeping sure? Beauty Castle is at sure Disneyland. Is yes. One? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Leave me alone. So <laughs> Sleeping Beauty Castle, the hub is right there in the center is your partner's statue, which is Walt and Mickey. And then it just kind of like branches out. And so depending on which where, where you're going, you take one of the the passageways to that land. And it's not as circular as it used to be because adding Galaxy's Edge, you can't just take a path off and get there or even Critter Country. You have to kind of go through some to get yeah. to places, but um, but still um, that's the design. Um, the downside with Disneyland, and it's not a downside as much anymore, but um, on the downside of it is it is so smack dab in the middle of Anaheim. And maybe when it was built, it probably wasn't quite so crowded. But as soon as it was built, hotels went up across the street. You have restaurants across the street. You have a drugstore on the corner. And so like, it's just right up against the borders. And now Anaheim, just like there's a convention center across the street, well, around the corner. And so it's like, everything is really close. And, um, and so you don't have the same type of feeling as when you go to Walt Disney World and you have just miles and acres and acres and acres of land around each park. Yeah. Um, so, and and the, one of the results of that means that some of the programs that are in place that people see at Disney World are not, or haven't been at Disneyland, at least not as much. So they don't have dining plans, things like that. A lot of people will leave the park to go eat, but there is a lot of good food in the parks too. Um, but anyways, yeah, so Disneyland is a bit smaller. You can walk everywhere, um, even for the whole resort, but it, um, especially just right there, you can stay at a hotel across the street and walk to Disneyland Park and it's super convenient. So we really like it. Um, anything else that you would bring up before we get to some of our favorites? No. Nope, okay. <laughs> All right, so 
what I, uh, I, I, we did not discuss this, so I do not know your answers, but do you have a favorite quick service restaurant in Disneyland Park? It's either Tropical Hideaway or Cargo Bay, whatever it's called. Docking Bay 7 or Do Docking yeah, Bay 7, 7. I think it's Docking Bay 7. I think it's Cargo 7. 7 I don't know. Why the, is it so Galaxy's long? Edge, I know. You know, it's one thing when they have to name the, the rides really long because sometimes those have to do with like trademarks and all this. Yeah, and, and all they, you just, but you restaurants. just say rides. <laughs> I mean, I guess the thing is you just say Docking Bay or whatever. I think it's Docking Bay 7. Anyways. So well, you're talking about the basin. yeah. So you're talking about the <laughs> Galaxy's yeah. Edge quick where service we that's where we had breakfast. Quick, that, that was a really good breakfast. Yeah, and there's a couple quick service yeah. places in there. The um, but yeah, Docking Bay. Okay, so that that's so a good it's, one. It's those and two. Tropical Hideaway. Yeah. Those are both really good. I like. Those. I think just next trip we just need to try both of them because again, yeah, <laughs> because like you want to try one both for breakfast you try and then one every for time. lunch. Because last time we didn't go there. We didn't go to Dock and Bay. We went to Ronto Roasters. So I wasn't Roasters. able to yeah. um, compare. And so my, and my memory just chose not to remember exactly what it tastes like. And okay. so. All right. So my favorite quick service is probably still Plaza Inn. Um, is a quick service? Yes, it's a quick service. When you have it for lunch or dinner. Mm-hmm. When you just, cause you go up to the counter, huh. you get oh, your food, okay. then you pay it almost like it's a cafeteria. Well, and then now you go I'm going to add that one to the mix. <laughs> <laughs> when they have their breakfast, that's not considered quick service. Um, their breakfast is a character meal and that's more table service. Yeah. But the lunch and dinners are quick service. And okay, that's, well, that's probably my favorite. That's adding to my list. Okay. Synastery. I really like their French or their fried chicken, but I also, yeah. they also do have some good pasta. I like Alfredo pasta, and so they have that. Yeah. But I usually get the fried chicken. We usually share our fried chicken. We usually um, just share everything. We usually share everything. <laughs> but uh, I also, if I were to pick a second, would probably be um, Hungry Bear, actually. Yeah. They have some really that good food. And I also really like that when they have in the past had dining packages, uh, that's been one of the dining package options and it's one of the more affordable ones usually. So I've liked that, but they have good food. They have good onion rings. Yeah. So, all right. How about table service? And if you were counting Plaza in as a table service for breakfast, that does count. So, but do you have a favorite table service? You sound like your death is freezing over you or something. <laughs> Um, I don't really remember any table service. We don't do as honest. many. We don't do as much table service when we're at Disneyland, um, but we occasionally do. I have a favorite. What is it? My favorite is Blue Bayou. It's oh yeah, one of the more expensive ones, of course. The a fancy, quiet. Well, it's not even that quiet because it gets quite well. Maybe during COVID, it's a little bit more quiet because they probably aren't as crowded. But back before COVID, it was pretty packed. And so you had the um, just table upon table and it got pretty loud, but it was, the ambiance was still pretty cool because you're in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride and um, and the lighting is nice and it's like you're outdoors it's yeah, too fancy in the bayou. Me. I like it. It's, and it's good food, but it's also pricey. It's a special yeah. occasion place. I don't, I don't know what my favorite table service is because I'll have enough experience with them and I prefer to just grab and go. Grab and go. Okay. Like fair enough. The, I, I prefer a quick service. Yeah. To, we usually do. Yeah. We usually do unless there's some specific reason um, that we're doing table service. So, all right. That's fair enough. How about attractions? Can you list your, well, we just list like four or five of okay. your favorite well, attractions. Can you put your top three. Three okay i know it's sometimes a little bit hard sometimes it maybe depends on your originally, mood originally i forgot that Incredicoaster coaster was in dca that was in so, your list yeah um wait till we do our, our rise <laughs> dca episode. indiana jones and it's either between space and thunder you know i'm just gonna include both of them so you know <laughs> you you cheat and get four three. i'm just gonna say four because i can't even narrow it down. so are those in order so is rise your favorite no, no. okay do you have a favorite no like well, okay. if I had a favorite, I'd probably say this is my favorite. And then these are. All right. So all four of those. Yeah. Your top three are those four rides. Indiana. <laughs> okay. The top. Okay. There's like. I feel like Indiana is up there. 
It seems so like Rise. It. They all Those are. Those two to be are up there, and then Thunder and Space are kind of like just below. I feel like that. I but... I feel that that's what I get from you when we're there too. Yeah. Okay, that's fair enough. So mine, and I do have an order, although I have to admit my order might change and, and there may be days yeah, where something really else will jump on out like ahead. What I'm feeling like and what, what's happening. Mm-hmm. So my, my top three, starting with the third would be Rise of the Resistance. I just am so impressed with that ride and I really like it and it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Um, my second choice is going to be a nostalgic one and that's Jungle Cruise. Oh, it just yeah, keeps growing on me more and more because our family enjoys it so much. I love corny jokes anyways. I will laugh out loud so that that skipper knows that somebody is appreciating it and and I, it I doesn't matter. one time it was the O2H yeah joke, which i don't think that's a normal one yeah well i've heard it many many times oh, and dude. so yeah that's the first time i remember hearing it and like you're like the only one that at least like you're the only one that actually like laughed and you and the skipper was just like thank you for laughing <laughs> I think they're great and I also love it when they do have a new one that I haven't heard before and sometimes you'll get ones that like almost the whole ride is totally new jokes that I hadn't heard so it must be someone that's really really thought out and written you know made their list um to get new and fresh but um anyway so yeah that's a favorite of mine and my top favorite everybody knows because I say it all the time is pirates Mm -hmm. and I don't know why I don't even really People hate me for saying it, but I don't really even love the movies very much. I'll watch them, but I'm not a fanatic about those movies. I love the music. And it's a fun water ride that you're not going to get super wet on. It's the tiniest of a thrill. Yeah. And and then it's just kind of chill. It's enough of a thrill that I have fun without getting a headache or getting sick. And then, you know, it's like, it's just a safe one for me. It's good for all ages. If you have little, little kids, and it just has they such can a ride good it. Atmosphere. I love the atmosphere. Yeah. And I also love that this ride, even though it is very popular, it doesn't usually have an exceedingly long ride line, which is a good thing because it has never had a fast pass. And I don't know, we don't know how fast pass will look like it when they come did. back. So no. And so- huh it's it's definitely um a blessing that it moves so quickly they can load so many and they usually have the two lines going and so that keeps it going pretty fast um but you know it is a pretty popular ride but it doesn't ever get super duper ridiculously long and so it means that i can usually ride it no problem especially like if i have a group all my family or friends or whoever are going on space or something that i just cannot ride they can go do that and i'll go ride pirates so anyways yeah I know. I don't know why it's my favorite, but it just is. And I love it. Okay. Do you have a favorite show at Disneyland park? Fantasmic. Fantasmic. Me too. Yeah. And if I'm just easy and if I'm looking at day show daytime shows, it's kind of hard right now because we don't know really what's going to come back when those shows come back. We do know that magical uh, making Mickey's magical map is not coming back. And that was one I loved, but I really liked, um, all those, uh, the Royal theater shows. Oh yeah. Those are fun. They're cute and funny and they're not super long and the the little kids love them because they're the class they're these well it's a funny retelling of the 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 stories. The adults love them because they throw in so much great humor. And so it's just it's a great great yeah. it's a good way to get off your feet and just sit in the shade and have a good I laugh. I remember the last time we did one of those. I think that was like my it first was, time. Oh, I, I'm sure you've gone a few after. times, but it's you, you, ha- you just don't remember very much of, but you know, actually, I just don't remember anything. Besides, like, <laughs> we certainly, ago, they aren't so. doing them this year and they weren't, we didn't go to them when we went on our quick yeah. trip right before COVID. And so it would have been the time that we went with the Heinz. That was mm-hmm. the last time we saw them. I remember I was once like, I was like Bippity Bobby booed like all up. Yeah. And, um, you're Bippity Bobby booed. <laughs> yeah. And, um, I was dressed as um sleeping beauty or was it cinderella no it was sleeping beauty i'm just kidding because i said cinderella yeah um <laughs> actually i forgot about that <laughs> it was but um it was a beauty. uh cast member at the like front was like it's like you're talking like kind of like it's like or, like you were wearing a birthday a- sash as well because it was oh. the you were made up but they gave you a birthday sash that. to wear but, um mm-hmm. and I just remember two key things. One, he was saying that it should be blue, kind of joking because it kept the dress. Yeah. yeah, the dress. Yeah. And then he also gave me a, a fast pass to use like any ride, yeah. like any time of the day. Yeah. 
Yeah. So that was fun. That was fun. Um, okay. So yeah, but, but for sure, overall, fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So how about a favorite memory or experience that you've had in the Disneyland park? Um, probably just going with my cousins. Yeah. That was being there awesome. with all of your cousins was a fun yeah. time. Oh yeah. I wanted to do it again. We, I would love to do that again. I don't know when it'll happen, if it will be able to get all of the cousins together again, just because that's a hard thing to do. The, the bigger the family gets and the older they get, but that sure was special. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and there are so many memories that came from that trip um because that was the park that's where we were doing when we did the team dole whip and team mickey oh, yeah. bar and all that's those also pictures one night after this, um i uh that was the trip i loved indiana like that's right mm-hmm. when you first finally started to really like indiana jones oh yeah and you fell in love it with went it, from right? i hated it to it's, it's my, my favorite, favorite. <laughs> literally yeah. just, yep just, whoop, all because your dad forced you to open your eyes on the ride. <laughs> he bribed me. He did. He bribed you. That's right. That's not forcing. He bribed. True. Me. I got I got two things out of that new favorite ride and twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is about dad having to bribe you girls to do things at Disneyland. For you, it's the it was the scary ride at Acadia. He had to bribe my daughter just to smile in fo- photos. <laughs> Because she is such an obnoxious teenager. He's like, 20 bucks if you smile every time. If you give your mom any trouble, then you don't get your money. And she finally did that trip. I finally got <laughs> smiles out of her the whole time. All right. So one of my favorite memories is actually Acadia. When their band, the, the high school marching band, went and marched. What? Are you giving me a stink eye because it had to do with Acadia? <laughs> Well, if you would join your high school marching band and go to Disneyland. Do they even have a marching band? I do not know. You should ask. They probably do. But uh, they don't all have to be competitive. You don't have to have, well, she didn't play band instruments. So she went in the pit where you could do piano based instruments. And then she was in that in percussion. Okay. Well then I, then I can't help you. I'm telling you my favorite (laughs) experience and memory was watching her in her marching band, marching down main street as a Disney fanatic and at the time, a travel agent that sold almost exclusively Disney travel, it was like a huge, huge high passion for me anyways. And then, I'm, and I love music. I, we always, our family just really liked music and the girls are musically inclined. And so Acadia being able to do that and march like the whole parade route with her school march, marching band, I was basically a mess I was crying and yeah. I had to record two different I, I got him at one point and you could hear me sobbing and then I ran through I was really naughty you're not supposed to run through but I ran through the stores Gosh, dang it mom you're I breaking know, the rules to get to the the end point so I could record them again this time really controlling myself so I wasn't sobbing and that's the video I share <laughs> is the one where I'm not like a mess but um oh my goodness it was exciting and fun and just special to to do that was probably my favorite but anyways all right what else is there anything else we should share about Disneyland Park other than it's just amazing it's such a special place um people you know Disney travel isn't going to be for anyone anyways that's true but if you love Disney travel if you love the Disney stories if you love the Disney magic it's it's a really a great place to go it's a great family place it was designed to be a family place where everyone would have fun and I think they would do that Mm -hmm. Um, they do have things like tours and special parties from time to time right now during COVID they haven't been although they have um, the Halloween party coming back this year so parties are starting to come back and hopefully tours will too I know right now they can do VIP tours which are where you just have one a dedicated tour guide and you pay for them to accompany you and escort you throughout the parks and you kind of get a lot of preferential treatment Um, but they have a number of other tours that are currently not going yet but hopefully are coming back soon that just give you background, they're group tours and they give you a lot of background information. And it's just a really cool way to experience the parks too. I've done a few of them and I think you would really enjoy at least a couple of them. And we'll probably do those eventually as a family. But um, yeah, a lot of really great fun stuff. Uh, The food's good. The entertainment is good. The rides are great. The characters are great. It's just all good. So that's Disneyland Park, the happiest place on earth our favorite and we will probably do California Adventure Park next week maybe even so stay tuned for that but thanks for joining us this week we will see you next week see you